It's not every day you see a girl from a small town make her way to the biggest sports stage on the planet, but that happened this summer when Elmira's Molly Huddle ran her way to the London Olympics, and it was a journey that was a culmination of years of hard work. A summer of firsts. Molly Huddle as they take the bell in the 5,000 meter final. A summer of fanfare, a summer of Olympics. Elmira's Molly Huddle lived it. Until I came home really just now I didn't realize how big it was and how widespread it was and even just talking to a few people um, since I've been home it, it's been amazing to see how far it's reached. The American record holder in the 5,000 meters qualified for her first ever Olympics this past summer igniting fanfare in her hometown and finding herself amongst the best in the world on the track. I was so fortunate to make it to the next round where you get to compete under the lights at night. Molly Huggle, the U.S. and North American record holder. It's kind of a different atmosphere during a final. It was awesome. But before the Olympic rings became part of Huddle's focus, she had her beginnings at Notre Dame in Southport, an experience as a crusader that paved the way for future success on the track. It was just an environment where you felt like you could put your head down and work and um, I think they instill that in, they have good role models and their teachers rewarding that in kids. So I think they just encourage that in all, in all the students. On the home straightaway, increasing her lead, Molly Huddle to the cheers of the fans here at Hayward Field. So for those who dream in Elmira of achieving the unthinkable, the hometown hero offers this. Keep working and um, just look for the road and it's going to be a long one, but just stay on that road and keep looking ahead and you'll get there. Now Huddle told me that she intends to take a little time off before setting her sights on the 2016 Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Thanks again to Molly for her time and Elmira is very proud to call her their own. Well, speaking of Elmira, some preseason action tonight for the Jack.